Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to create a new video series uh, in as we have created a complete playlist that uh, in which we created uh, an API of the user management where we covered the authentication and authorization using the ASP.NET Core identity uh, and now we will consume that all API that we created in this playlist and from the for the front end we will be using angular if uh, you don't have the basic of angular so i already created a playlist but the problem is that this playlist was created in the urdu or hindi language so that was not in the english language but uh, if you cannot understand but you can watch and you can implement and get the basic from any other source you can do so you should have some basic of the angular so I created that and I promised before that I will be creating a practical implementation with a project like this thing. So let's go to the uh, create a new uh, what you say project for this Angular project. So I will be going to some directory. I have a D list and here I have ASP.NET. Okay. Now I'll be creating a front end. Let's name it as front end and open the command prompt cmd and for creating a project we will be writing the command ng new angular dash uh, user management ng is new okay so that means we have not installed that let's install the angular cli first so we can proceed with the project so this is the command if you get the same error because this is my some other laptop i was not aware that the my environment is not ready so if you get this error ng is not recognized an internal command so you have to write this command for installing the angular cli right now okay let's close this and open it again ng new okay i've written the command ng new angular user management and let's press y okay would you like to add uh, angular routing yes we would like and we will choose the css now you will see it's creating everything so we have to wait for a while all right so maybe we are done uh, let's close this and open this you see everything is up right here in node module source and all the folder and file structure let's open the command from here and press con code dot so we will open it in the visual studio code here we can check okay source and everything yes go to the terminal and write Angular language extension is recommended, so I'm installing it. Okay, it's installed now. Okay, ng seed file. Okay. Okay, no problem. I will settle it uh, later, but I can do here. Ng generate component sign up. Yes. You see what has been created. A uh, component has been created. Sign up component HTML spec dot ts and CSS. So when you come here in the app, you will see a sign up folder is being created. Now we need a service as well. So we will write the command ng generate service sign up. So you will find a sign up service is here. So I'm cutting it and pasting in this folder. 
So everything regarding to the sign up is in this folder. Okay, now we need to start the coding. Okay, I should change the color theme, uh, VS Code theme. So we'll have to go there. There is a theme, color theme, dark as Visual Studio. Now it looks fine for me. Okay, let's start. Okay, so first of all, we will go to the sign up service. And here we will import this HTTP client from Angular Common HTTP. And let's take the injectable same as. And before the constructor, we will define this complete API URL. Later on, we will configure it from the environment file. But for now, let's make it hard coded here. And we have to change the default constructor to the parameterize. We will be injecting this. Okay, in the constructor, we use this private HTTP client. And here is we have another method, uh, uh, sign up, that will be calling an API. Okay, this dot API URL, form data, whatever the form data is. So we don't have the form data, maybe. Uh, here, okay, we will define the form data in um, component dot ts here. Now come to the component, define the form data object. So we have a username, email, and password. So what our API needs for creating a user, you see, try it out. It needs a username, email, and password, and a list of role that we will add, OK? Roles like this uh, make it like this let's make as admin for now okay we'll sending only one role or make it as user what whoever is going to register is as user okay oh Now this object is fine. Now we'll import the sign up service. And uh, from after this form data, we will we will add this piece of code. We'll add the constructor and inject this sign up service. And we'll using the sign up service dot sign up method where we are passing this form data okay and whatever the response will be we will be getting in the uh, console okay if something is success we will be getting in the console later on we will be checking it okay so we are almost ready from everything now we just go to write to the html for this okay let's remove this So we have this form of HTML. Let's make it safe. It's form data dot username. Since it is a known property of input. Form data dot email. Let's make it that user input. But Save in the component, the name is this. It's not fine. Okay, for resolving this, we will go have to go to the app component.ts or oh, sorry, app module.ts. So here we have to add a few things. Okay. Okay, now you see the error has been gone. 
Okay, the now last thing we have to do, we'll have to change this const route like this. Oh, sorry, like you have to add here, and we have to import it first. Now it's done. Let's run the project. So I already write the command. That command is ng serve minus o. So that will run your project on local host 4200. Now let's flip to the browser. Okay. So this is the project running. I have removed everything from the app component.html. All the HTML that was default created, I removed that. And now I will directly by URL going to the sign up for checking. Later on, we will fix everything. We create a router thing, navigation, and all the routing things. So let's check this now. But before going to create this sign up button, Okay, let's look in this inspect element. Go to the console. If you click what is happening, see your API sign up. Okay, it's displaying the course policy. First of all, we have to give the complete path. So this is our API. Let's test it first. Username, let's A, B, C, D. and give a user ID, the ideal. At the rate gmail.com, give a password. A, B, C, D. At the rate one, two, three, four. Um, give him a username, or user role, sorry. Let's execute this and check what is the response. We have this. You see, user already created. This user has it's already created, but okay. We just need this one, okay. This, okay. Let's go here. And in the sign up service, for now, let's paste authentication. And we were getting the course error, no? And we still will be getting because we have not configured the course. So let's stop this WebAPI project. You have to go to the program.cs. This is, and here we will be certainly configuring this builder.service and like that thing. So we have to come here. Before this identity line, we will write builder dot service dot course dot add course let's okay this is fine now allow origin and we are allowing this this origin to call the api and go down there will be some app regarding this app thing okay yes here we will write app dot use app dot course use course here you will have to provide the name that we provided upside the policy name the policy name we define is this now now we will not be getting the this course error let's save it and run Okay, now let's check this. Salman Masood 24 at the rate yahoo.com. This is my email. Now provide the password A, B, C, D. 
at the rate one two three four and if I click the sign up what is going to happen it's taking time see the API has spawned okay the user created successfully user created and I would have get the email as well that's all for this video we will be moving up to the next step we will fix the design we will add the bootstrap and fix this design and we'll make a uh, next progress and we'll uh, use this response on ui so see you in the next video i hope you like this video if you like though then please like share and subscribe see you in the next video take care bye